So this is a very brief live, just to informally chat about some of the stuff that's been happening recently. As you know, over in the little Lampo's corner, we like to take a very curious and irreverent look at what's going on around WMT and the broader community of crypto. Yesterday, uh, the early staking for WMT was meant to start, and there was a hiccup. The hiccup was uh, a distributed denial of service attack. Now, these things happen, unfortunately, quite regularly uh, on the internet, and essentially someone decides to disrupt a service or an activity by sending in millions of requests in an attempt to break the servers. Now, you've probably encountered distributed denial of service attacks with things like, let's say, your email going down or websites collapsing. It is possible to mitigate against such attacks on static websites, uh, for instance, caching, which is keeping a copy of the website in multiple locations. It's harder to deal with large-scale denial of service attacks against an interactive service. And by way of example, the uh, WMT early staking was an interactive service. People needed to get through to the servers in real time to be able to stake. And because the staking had certain rewards for the earlier people turning up and you know, registering their earth nodes or doing general staking, slowdowns or disruption are really important topics to think about. What the World Mobile team did to address the denial of service attack was to postpone the early staking. This meant that nobody got to stake on the event yesterday. Was that disappointing for some? Of course, people had been waiting for early staking for a long time, and they were truly looking forward to it. On the other hand, if the staking had continued with a distributed denial of service attack, either A, only some people could get through, or B, the whole server would go over. That wouldn't have worked well, and it wouldn't have fit into how World Mobile tend to do things, with extreme transparency and a very strong focus on fairness. Either everyone had an equal chance of getting their early staking in on the various different levels, or no one would. And I think that was the right decision. My air conditioner has decided to clean itself during this live. So I have a bit of a background in security, and I must say that I'm disappointed that someone chose to do a distributed denial of service attack on WMT with early staking. Let me explain why. Someone purposefully and maliciously targeted the first large-scale staking event where people could reserve their earth nodes, where people could do general staking. They disrupted that on purpose for the community. And whether they disrupted it to just knock the whole system off, or to give preferential access to a few people as opposed to everyone having equal access, well, it hardly matters. What matters is that they did it. World Mobile is on a mission to connect the unconnected. And getting things like our Earth nodes up, helping our community do their staking and get started in this uh, six-month period, is very important. It's important not just for the people who hold WNT and want to be rewarded, it's important for the mission. Some... I'm trying to think of the language that's not too strong, because I'm Irish, this could take a while. Some unsavory characters decided to cause havoc on something supporting a genuinely important service around the world. And we're talking about connecting people who are not connected. We're talking about building the infrastructure that's necessary for the future of fair access to information and services. To interrupt that, to attempt to derail that, it's beyond the pale. You know, it's just disgusting. <sighs> if you were going to do early staking, I understand your disappointment. The World Mobile team has been very quick to communicate that the new staking date will be announced soon. 
Um, and no doubt there will be additional mitigations against the type of malicious attack we just saw. You're going to have to wait a bit. You know, it might take a few days, who knows, we'll see. Patience is fine. Like I said, this is doing a real thing, building a real future. A few days won't kill us. And if you want to practice hitting the submit and activation buttons just to get your skills up to get in on the early staking faster, you have a little bit of opportunity to do so now. I suggest keeping a, a light-hearted approach. Don't be down about this. Be impressed by how fair the team was in quickly pausing the entire process so no distortions would occur. And while we wait, let's do things like talk about where the community is going, talk about the cool services that are active, talk about what we plan to do with our Earth nodes and supporting the infrastructure. All right, everyone. Peace out. Take care. Be well. And this brief live is ending.